Hello, my name is David. I'm Bishop of Basingstoke. Today, 3rd of June, is the Uganda Martyrs Day in the Anglican calendar. And Winchester has a particular relationship with the church in Uganda. For more than 50 years, we've cherished the links we've had with that country. And three months ago, Dean Catherine and I, together with Robin and with Helen, went to Kampala for the enthronement of the new Archbishop. The day before, we went out to Namagongo the place of the martyrdom, because it was the place where the prisoners of the king were executed. On the 3rd of June, 1886, 32 young men, Catholic and Anglican, were executed on the orders of the king. Brutally tortured, they were then burnt to death. But the way they died was unique because instead of the, the cries of anguish that the executioners were expecting, they started to sing and they sang the songs of the resurrection until they died. So profound was the impact that it is said that every single one of the executioners asked to be baptized themselves. And the chief executioner was baptized with the name Daniel. At Namagongo, 45 martyrs are remembered. The 32 that died that day and others who were killed in the months before and after. They also remember Bishop James Hannington, an English, young English bishop in his 30s, who was killed on his second day in his new diocese. And poignantly for all of us, Archbishop Yanani Lawum, who was executed in 1977 on the orders of the president of Uganda, Idi Amin. It is said that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. And certainly those, that testimony from 1886 and in the years that have followed show us that very often the Christian church grows most rapidly in the times of real persecution and struggle. But all of us are assaulted by the different demands on our own allegiance, on where our primary devotion will lie. For those young men who could easily have denied Christ, they determined until their last breath to proclaim, we serve another king, we serve Jesus. It is the testimony of those who've gone before us that challenge us afresh to be faithful to the God who's faithful to us, we stand on the shoulders of those who've gone before. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for all those who have pointed to Jesus and shown us the path of discipleship. Strengthen our hearts and our wills, we pray, that our eyes might be fixed on Jesus, our Lord and our King. Amen.